Hey loves, and welcome to Heart to Heart Love Messages. My name is Crystal. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you are already subscribed here, welcome back. So tonight I have a very urgent message for the Divine Feminine. Please keep in mind that these messages may or may not resonate with everyone. So just take the messages that resonate and leave the ones that do not, okay? Divine Feminine, you beat the odds. There's something extremely rare and unique about your story. You may think that there are things that you travel through on your journey that many people have experienced, but this is totally unique to you. And a lot of people look at you in amazement. Because although you had to kind of dig deep inside of you to extract this power in order for you to move about your journey, there is still something very innocent or very delicate about your energy. This is also a part of yourself that you may choose to keep private just out of protection. Because there were a lot of people along your journey who saw your light and they saw this very radiant, very healing, nurturing aspect of yourself very, very early. You possess rare qualities that have always made you easily stand out. The light that resides inside of your being, Divine Feminine, shines from the inside out. This is not something that you can hide. This is not something that you can stuff down. Every single person that you have ever encountered understands the truth about who you are. What's also interesting about this feminine that I'm tapping into and what also may be a little bit disheartening is that your light also had the ability to highlight the shadows in other people. So it's not a surprise to you that many people have an adverse reaction to you. And this may confuse you. You may wonder why you trigger people. The truth is that they admire you. The truth is that you inspire them. And you've always known this on a subconscious level. You possess the type of aura that is highly triggering. And so much so that others may try to either diminish you or overlook you as a means to make you question yourself. It's really important for you at this stage of your journey to understand why you were created this way and why out of so many souls, you were chosen for this particular mission. If you only knew how much your story is connected to source, you will be absolutely amazed. You will be mind blown. You are about to move into a timeline where you are becoming the blueprint. You have earned such a high level of spiritual authority from your higher power simply based on your ability to transmute darkness to light. So there has been this sort of revelation about you as it pertains to people very close to you and you definitely are triggering something within them there are people around you divine feminine who are being shown things about you and it's not a fun process these are things that god is specifically placing on their path because they underestimated you your power, and your position in the spiritual realm. There is such a divine order and divine protection over your life in a way that you can't even imagine. And this message may be very specific because this feminine energy that I'm tapping into, you have a very rare story. One that may be hard for you to tell, one that may be very, very shocking to other people. And it could be something that you have really held close to your heart space, something that you have literally kept between you and God for a very specific reason. 
but it's definitely connected to this massive blessing that's coming your way. And your spiritual team want to prepare you for this massive incoming because the people around you have received a preview of your future and it looks very, very promising. As we're under this very powerful, bold, life-changing energy of this solar eclipse, your life is about to take a turn for the better. Everything that you've encountered, Divine Feminine, has kind of been building you up to this point. There's been this buildup in your life. And what's interesting is that a lot of times when people cross paths with you, they can see the end goal. And a lot of times these people are placed here to keep you from reaching your full potential. So your story and your ability to begin to start speaking over your own life has absolutely healed you, has absolutely broken the chains off of you and has freed you in such a major way. The people around you feel triggered by you, Divine Feminine, because deep down within your soul, they know that you are connected directly to the divine. They know that you possess a power that allows you to move in a way that other people can't really move. They question this. They sent things on your path to deter you. They said certain things to you to knock you off your square, to trick you out of your spot simply for the purpose of trying to take you off of your sacred path. And because you have such a massive heart space, because you still embody this very innocent, this very delicate nature about you, a lot of these things you brush under the rug. A lot of these people you still may be connected to in some kind of way. A lot of them you have forgiven. And right now you're at this stage of your journey where it's almost imperative for you to place so much of your energy into building and cultivating a much, much deeper bond with the Most High. Because this is what's going to change your life for the better. A lot of the people overlooked you, but their tactics no longer work because God has already exposed everybody. This feminine energy that I'm tapping into, this information is not new to you. You are highly intuitive. You possess very, very powerful spiritual gifts. You have a high rank in the spiritual realm. So when things happen, you receive dreams, you receive signs, you can walk into a room and your energy will just shift. Your body responds to different people. There is no way that you can't see and feel and hear and observe what's happening around you. So you're being guided not to question that. A lot of these people know that your strength comes from within. So they use very specific things to deter you. And there is a heavy focus here on the throat chakra. So people may have been speaking over your life. And what's very interesting about this energy is that this feminine that I'm tapping into, for a long time, you allow people to speak over your life. There definitely could have been a blockage within your throat chakra where people would try to determine your destiny by saying things to you, by trying to change your moods, by trying to get into your head. But your power has grown. Your awareness has grown to the point where you know that you are the only person 
who has the power to speak over your own life. Your throat chakra literally sits in the middle of your spiritual chakras and your lower chakras, your material world chakras. This is how you express who you are. This is how you put out into the world what it is that you're here to do. This is how you connect with the divine. This is very, very important energy here. So if you're in this place where you are feeling extremely powerless, you assume this position where you begin to allow other people to speak over you, to tell your story. This energy is being literally pulled and extracted from your life. Your aura is just becoming impenetrable, Divine Feminine. You are somebody who has a very powerful, powerful destiny. And every single thing that you went through is not in vain. It was by design. You were being sharpened. You had to become this higher octave of yourself over these past couple of years so that you can go out into the world and you would know exactly who you are. No matter what anyone said, no matter what anyone did, you're able to operate off of energy. You're able to operate in this physical realm because your spiritual skills have been sharpened to such a high level. This feminine energy that I'm tapping into, you literally are the blueprint. And what that means is that this next stage of your, of your life when people see you, they're going to see God. When people look at your life and they see how you move, they see how you speak, how you walk, how you talk, how you assert yourself, how you walk into a room and command attention effortlessly, they will see nothing but the power of God. That is what this, this energy is all about. This is a powerful new beginning. And this is unlike anything that you have ever experienced before in your lifetime. This is you stepping into a timeline where you know exactly who you are because you have sharpened your ability to speak over your own life. And you've really healed this blockage within your throat chakra which kept you in a position of feeling powerless as it pertains to your connections the people around you this is also important as it pertains to how you receive information because you're able to speak clearly you're also able to hear clearly there's not really much people can get around you you also have the patience to listen with your heart space. Because out of the mouth, this, this is where the heart speaks. This is the channel through where the heart speaks. So you're able to understand if someone is vibrationally aligned with you or not simply by how they narrate their own lives and the things that are happening around them. So this is very, very powerful energy. You were heavily underestimated. Maybe because you were quiet. Maybe because you were overlooked. Maybe because people heard about your story or things that you have been through before you even walked through the door. These people around you were very, very strategic and trying to paint a picture of who you were in this physical realm. They don't get the last say so, Divine Feminine. You get to tell your story. Your story is what's actually going to free you. Because once you really, really get in sync with the Most High, you give access to every single avenue of who you are, to every single part of your being. 
and you get to stand there with your head held high, proud of every single thing that you went through, knowing that no one is exempt from the ups and downs of life. So the very things that people thought were going to disqualify you, the very things that you were ostracized for, that people tried to push you to the side, these are the things that are going to bless you. You're going to go out into the world and you're going to free other people. And it's also a heavy energy of truth. This solar eclipse energy is, is like a hard pill to swallow for a lot of people. There's heavy shadow energy, heavy projection. But this is something you've already been through. For some of you, you've been through this for years. And so people are not able to penetrate you and penetrate your energy field in the way that they used to. They have to move around you. They have to find other targets. You're too sharp. It's also important for you to understand the truth about people around you and the reason why your story is the way it is and why you went through the things that you went through. You have something, you are in possession of something that many people would love to have. You have a powerful light. You're able to come into a room and shift the energy. Life has thrown many, many challenges your way and you get up again and again and again. And you, you make this look very very easy and it's not your strength comes directly from source so where you are right now divine feminine you may even have compassion for a lot of people your heart chakra just may be burst open okay where you're able to really see people on a deeper level because the truth is that hurt people hurt people. When you're truly operating in your divinity, when you are embodying your feminine essence as a receiver, you understand your worth. You're able to communicate your worth. You're able to have healthy conversation. You're able to disagree without having it be such a huge blow up. This is about emotional intelligence. This is about connecting with like-minded people who see you the way that God sees you. And if they don't, then they have to come up to where you are. There is no more going down to meet people where they are, especially if they're operating from a place of lower shadow energy. You can send them love and light from a distance. A lot of people are drawn to you because you're a natural healer. Being in your energy, being in your essence does something to people. So it's very, very important for you to understand how your energy works. This is a very important theme for this year. This is about you stepping fully, emerging with your higher self and creating a totally new reality and a totally new story. Because the one that other people have been telling and the one that you were clinging to for a very, very long time that one was here to shape you, to mold you, to define your character, to sharpen you, to prepare you for life in this 3D realm. You have gained so much spiritual authority simply by how you choose to navigate your journey. 
how you choose to walk through life. It is such a beautiful thing to witness. And truth be told, people are really, really inspired by you, Divine Feminine. And some people don't know how to handle your light. And that's okay. You can still operate at your optimal level. You don't have to shrink for anybody. You can tell your story from a position of power. Because the truth is, once you're able to look anybody in the eye and say, I know who I am, I know where I come from, but more importantly, I know where I'm going, you change the trajectory of your life. You break all the rules and all of the things that people try to impress on you. You're way too powerful. Way too powerful for some type of energies. And that's okay. You're stepping into this time in your life where things are heavily being weeded out. And this energy that we're under right now, this is about endings and beginnings opening and closing, but also reclaiming parts of yourself that you feel like have been silenced, that you've had to stuff deep down inside of you for survival to get to the next stage of your journey. This energy is being cleared on a collective level. So you may definitely feel the energy rising this is what's happening to your life. Your spiritual team is trying to prepare you for a massive incoming of like-minded people, energy, places, things. For some of you, you have been manifesting a lifestyle that matches this new reality of yours. This is a feminine energy where for a long time you stood smack dab in the middle of who you used to be and who you were becoming. You're stepping into who you truly are. And you're becoming a blueprint. You are becoming someone to watch. Because the way your story is unfolding right now, God is literally placing revelation in people's faces. You don't have to do anything. That's the beauty of really being chosen and really being favored by the Most High. You have such a divine protection and divine order on your life. And so it's time for you to really embody this energy and to know who you are. So if there's one thing that your spiritual team wants to bring to your attention. And I feel like they've been sending you a lot of signs, Divine Feminine. A lot of powerful, very direct, very in-your-face messages to let you know that your life is changing, that it's happening. The one thing that's being highlighted also right now is for you to really sharpen your connection with the Most High. Even if it's for five minutes every day, saying a quick prayer, journaling how it is that you're feeling, this throat chakra is literally the key to everything if you're resonating with this message. Because this is where the attack was sent. And you're understanding that you are who you are for a reason. Other people are understanding this as well. Now they're beginning to see what God is doing in your life and what it truly looks like to stand in spiritual authority, no matter what's happening externally. So this is an extremely powerful, life-changing energy that we're currently under right now. I believe this eclipse is coming in on Wednesday so this is a perfect time for you to start thinking about the things that you want to say, thinking how you want to narrate your life 
and begin speaking over your own life. Begin allowing what's inside of your heart space to come out. No more stuffing down your truth, your authenticity. This is now the time to show up, to be seen, to be heard, to leave your unique blueprint on the world because you are going to change a lot of people's lives simply by being you. That's really the whole point of this physical reality is to find yourself. And a lot of times we're in connections where we're learning ourselves through other people. But the key to your success has been going within and finding yourself. And maybe practicing a level of healthy detachment so that you can get what it is that you need and be better to every single person that you encounter. If there are people, places, and things leaving your life at this stage, there's something about your energy where you just know it's time. Do whatever it is that you need to do to purge this energy from your system, but allow it to leave. Allow nature to take its course. Allow yourself as the divine feminine to naturally flow with the energies of the universe and to trust that you are always being divinely guided. So divine feminine, whether you know it or not, your life is shifting. And this timeline that you're moving into is going to bring you massive abundance. Things are just going to come to you. You will be amazed how life unfolds when you dare to be yourself and when you dare to narrate your own life and your own experience, you have absolutely taken your power back. You have reclaimed parts of yourself that other people wanted to possess. You are so important and so special in the grander scheme of things. And God is about to show you that in a very, very real way. So I'm going to go ahead and end the reading here. If you resonated with this message, be sure to hit the like button on the way out. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.